on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. I said she is wasted upon. Wait, why is it. Is it getting hot here or is it just me? As there is a shit ton of steam coming off of Izuku as flames is starting to come out straight through his uniform. But then I'm realizing, oh wait, that's right, he has a court that's stronger than mine and meant for offense. I'm gonna die! As Toru just. Well, Izuku? What? You're scaring Kana. No, I'm not! Kana, she's just blank and is like, are you gonna kill him or not? <gasps> what? Kana, did you just... I'm asking, are you gonna kill him or not? You know what? Yes. The pervert must die. Wait, 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 wait. Is he? This is a bad idea. If you kill him, you can't be a hero. Remember, you want to be a hero. You can't. You can't do that if you're a murderer. Now, can you? There are laws against that. Yes. She's right, Connor. Hmm. Too bad. He's dirty. I know. But don't worry. He'll get his comeuppance. I wasn't sure of that. Them heading home. As yes, uh, Tor does sprout wings like they like hop on. No. But why you never had a problem riding me before? Uh, turn into a full dragon then. Oh. Oh, I get it. Is it up so you don't... I don't feel your stiffy over my scales? What? No. That's not... I mean, I don't have that kind of problem. Oh, no. I, I can still notice that. What? Oh yes, I mean, I don't say anything because it, you would possibly be embarrassed, but, oh yeah, I know this way, you got a heart on. Do you now? Yes. Is there anything I can do to convince you not to, you know, oh. There is something. Her grabbing him by the arm and kissing him. In front of everybody. Kana was like... No. That, that is a, improper. Kana, stop being, being a buzzkill. Mom, please. Her doing the puppy dog adorable dragon-esque eyes. Fine. Fine. <sighs> but when we get home, uh, that is acceptable. Gonna, I won't be home. What? Wait, why not? Remember that friend I told you about? Oh yeah, the pervert. Them just staring at Manetta. I was like, no, 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 no. This, well, um. Damn, I, uh... Hmm. Huh. She's more... or less subtle about it. Oh, it's a woman. Oh, okay, never mind then. What? Oh, yeah, it's just a woman. It's like, no, no, a pervert is still a pervert. It doesn't matter what the gender is. It's still fucked up. Uh, is it? Yes! 
Seriously, that, that double standard bullshit is not, is something that has to change in society. Really? Is it really that big a deal? Yes! Yes, it fucking is! As he goes on this whole rant, it's like, okay, how about this? Say a woman gets drunk and a guy takes her to the room to not boost. What, y'll, what would y'all do? We would jump that motherfucker's ass. He would get crucified, drawn and quartered. All in that order. Exactly. But if a man is drunk and a woman takes him to the room, Bub Ugly is like, oh, she's just getting lucky. Or at least he is. That's the same double separate bullshit that if they are not a right mind to give consent, they it does count as sexual assault. It, it doesn't matter what the fuck the gender is, it does not This is what's wrong with schools. This is what's wrong with college. Drinking is not fun anymore. It's Think of it like this. If a teacher goes out with an underage student who is a male or female, boy or girl, he gets crucified. Then you lock him up and throw away the fucking key. But if a woman does that, she gets a, a slap on the wrist. And then that boy gets so many high fives. And yes, he's the luckiest mom I ever. <coughs> it's bullshit. If this is the world we're living in, our world is fucked. Wow. You, you're, you are very passionate about this. You're damn right. It's, 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 life is full of too much shit for all this to be happening. Life already sucks. Due to some other... Easily avoidable bullshittery a nonsense vacation to terrier. What? Bullshit is bullshit, and no one wants to call out the bullshit. Yes, I'm saying how many times like, I can use profanity on this. But I don't give a damn. <laughs> I'm done. For now. It's, yes, this is pretty much when they just go home. It's gotten awkward enough to a point where even my dad is like, I'm, I'm done, I'm sorry. Please, just... Hmm. I'll... I'll drop it for now. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, Izu, nice, nice, I did not expect it. you to have it in you. <sighs> it wasn't supposed to be like that. I, I really do apologize, especially to you, Kana. I, I used way too many profanities in that I, I shouldn't have. It's okay. If anything... You spoke your mind over something that you consider bullshit. Kana, what you said it. Yeah, but I'm an adult. No, you're not. You're a teenager. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Well, I'm older than you, so I'm stronger than you. Uh. Huh. Oh, right. Damn. Dragons. Right. Most powerful beings in existence. Aw. That's nice. It's kind of just like, yes, bow before me, peasant. Weakling. Bow before your new masters. Where are you getting this from? The weak shall serve the strong. I'm strong too! Should be bad, but I'm stronger than you, and I'm a kid. Uh. What the heck, 
man? What, what, why are you busting my ass all of a sudden? I'm still mad at you. Who what? what? You were going to say I wasn't your real daughter, but then you backpedaled and said I was adopted. Uh. Oh. They're starting to tear up. Ezekiel's like, I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Okay, I forgive you. Her just giving him a hug as Toru's. Yeah, I want some of that. Ezekiel's just rubbing his arms around Toru's neck. Don't worry, you're loved as well. Yeah, but I want more intimate hug than that. That's that's bad, Lady Toru. Mm. You're right. I'm sorry, Connor. It's okay, I forgive you. As yes, you go upon asking Izuku how his first day was. It's pretty much could have been better, could have been worse. That's all you need to know. And then, yes, Inko has an announcement. Due to, you know, Hazashi being gone, it's taking more longer and longer for his monthly payments, you know, to help us keep the apartment and whatnot here. So I decided to take a get a job. What? As throws really? Do, do tell what what kind of occupation are you uh, going for? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If anything, probably something along the lines of business and finance. So I'm going to be gone for a while. Wait, are you looking for one or do you already have one? Oh no, I already have one. Oh, okay. <sighs> but one thing, it pays well. I mean, they got your rose who are known for being generous. The who? Got your rose who's? No way. As, what's wrong? The Yardy Roses. I, I think I know one of them. Do you? Yeah. One by the name of Momo. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, he said something about them having a daughter. <laughs> I told him about you. They insisted on me, you actually. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Uh, uh, are you saying that? Yeah. Door. Mama, you got real zoo. Sounds like a girl's name. Is she one? Yes. Why? Hmm. To remember her name, you guys must be very close. I have to say her first name. Who knows how close you gotta be for that? Uh, listen, to her. it's not what you think. What do you think I'm thinking? That I'm actually dating Momo Yarozu. So you admit it? No, no, no. I'm not a man. Bang! I'm just saying, you're jumping to conclusions. Rude. Just, just plain rude. How dare you say I jumped to conclusions? Yes, you're accusing me of dating someone I haven't even met until today. Yeah. So you say. You say you never met him. But who knows? I do! Duh! Do the hopeful 
Porsche that sounds. Are you mocking me? As fire starts to go for Toru, she's about to punch it. Izuka was... All I'm saying, before you try to accuse me of something or say I did this, say I did that, let me ex explain first. Probably don't uh, just assume that I'm doing something I shouldn't. Maybe that would help, hmm? Did you think of that? Hmm. I don't see much of a need for it. I know what you're like. Uh, what? What I'm like? Uh, 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 that's the same shit I'm telling you about. Stop doing that. I'm not like that at all. All I'm trying to do is... You know, become a hero. That's all I ever wanted. Yeah. True. I mean, you were, you always thought about it when we were younger. Yeah, exactly. But still. Still what? Woman, what? I get jealous. Why would you get jealous over s someone I haven't even really talked to at all? Hmm. Because I I know how you are. That thing has a mind of its own. Huh? Uh, wait, where are you pointing? So you know exactly where. And knowing that that is part of your preference, is it not? That may be true, but that doesn't mean I'm going to do anything. <laughs> Fair. I'll, I'll give you that one. But, you had to promise me you won't pursue this Yairozu girl. Yeah, I don't see no problem with that. R really? Of course not. Besides, I doubt she likes me. And plus, uh, just because her parents may want to meet me does not mean that... Wait, what? They said that since I'm such an outstanding gentleman, they would actually like to have a quirk marriage. Or just have us be trolled. Oh, did you tell him no? I did. Okay, good. Why are you look so upset? It's, it's because uh, they didn't take no for an answer. What about this Momo girl? She tried to object too. Didn't work. Her parents are ruthless. Really? Mm-hmm. So, you're getting married. Mm-hmm. Kinda looking at the... Man whore. <gasps> Fuck boy. Oh! Slut. Kinda stop saying such words. That's hurting my feelings. Wait, why... Why, why is it hurting my feelings? How, how come when other people try to start saying dudes, it doesn't work, but when kids do it, it stings? It's because the kids, they're pure. If anything, when adults say it, it's, you know, they're corrupted already, so it doesn't really matter. But little kids saying it, it stings because the fact that they are still pure and still call you such words okay yeah 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 that 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 makes sense and Izuku was head hung down in shame I'm sorry
I forgive you. You apologize to Lady Toru. I did. No, you didn't. All you did was explain what happened. That was not an apology. I'm sorry, Toru. I forgive you. Now, as she just grabs a sword and says, I'm off to slay the homewrecker. What? No, 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 no. Ugh. Man, I wish mom was here. Why did they have to send her overseas? Uh, but no, you can't, you can't kill the Yairozus. That, that's illegal. Remember when you were trying to stop me from killing Moneta? Oh. Well. That's different. <laughs> wow. He was no threat to us. She is. Oh. And that justifies murder? Well. To me it does. So. <sighs> You can't do that. I tried to restrain myself from killing Moneta. You must do the same thing. <laughs> Arm wrestle. What? Arm wrestle me. Okay, fine. But no unnatural dragon strength. So you're pretty much nerfing me to the point where you can actually have a chance. <laughs> I ain't stupid. You know I'm stronger than you. Yes. Hmm. I guess I have no choice. Gonna turn around. Okay. Uh, why do you want is he Zugu turns off his shirt? Like, uh, why? Why? You like what you see? Yes. I um um Wait, you're trying to distract me so you could win. What? No, no. Why would I do such little down dirty tactics? The denial just enhances your guiltiness. Let's just get this over with. As soon as it starts, Izuku, he looks right into his eyes with a seductive look. Her losing her focus, him slamming her hand down onto the table and threw it. So, Izuku wins. Toro's a you bastard. Mm. I can live with that. So, you're in agreement. Yeah. I don't kill the homewrecker or her family. Good. But I can still kill any other girl that tries to mess with you, right? No. You're just no fun anymore, Izuku. Killing is not supposed to be fun. That is psychopathic behavior. A psychopathic? Meh. No mindset? Did, did, did you not think of that? Did you consider the fact that I did not care? Well, who is me? You are... And Kana and our families are still peachy. Hmm. I guess. Good. Now, let's go. I'm tired. I bet you are. Oh, uh, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Just. Just saying. As uh, yes. Now it is the heroes versus villains. And Izuku, he's more than this. He's looking around. People are still staring at him. I did nothing wrong. All I'm doing here is existing. At... 
Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter. Time will tell. If uh, anything else happens. As, yeah. It seems to the same. Except it's Momo. Uh, hi. Hey. Uh, listen, about the last time we saw each other, my ears perk up as you saw each other, you say. Please, continue. Me now, I got ready to. Are they serious? You already have Toro and a daughter, but now. You want Momo? It's not my fault. It's oh, of course it's your fault. What, what did you do? He said you should know it was my parents' fault. What? Uh, you're, you're just not. You're not just saying that just to cover his ass, are you? No. Hmm. Okay. So what happened? Them getting the whole story and Manetta is crying tears of blood. Everyone else is pretty much like, I can't believe your parents would do such a thing without your permission. Yeah. Neither could she. I mean, yeah, all she wanted to do was really be a hero and everything, but oh, maybe that's why. Huh? What are you talking about? Yeah, he said he did say before we actually formally met that they wanted to, they had a good candidate for a husband, at least for me. Well, I was wondering what they meant by that, but it turns out they want you to get me to stop my dream of being a hero. Really. Yeah, as soon as I told them about it, they were all freaking out and everything. They acted like they were in support of it, but, you know. Oh, I am very sorry to hear that. <clears throat> you still have a test, don't we? Uh -huh. Oh, oh, right. Um, sure, yeah. As... It goes similar to can, but Bakugo wanted to go against Zizuku. The only thing is, Zizuku just starts shooting embers at Bakugo, blowing up every single drop of sweat that he does to create. It's when he gets into the gauntlets, when the shit really hits the fan. Because as soon as it sparks, it blows up both of the gauntlets. Not to the point where he killed Bakugo, but his arms are shredded. So, but the team, your team wins. He's is a little bit reprimanded for how he handled the situation, but the fact that he, he used what he knew about Bakugo's quirk to snatch a victory from him, he gets sort of a pass. Mago is pissed as soon as he wakes up at the infirmary, but it realizes, well, that just means I have to work harder. And now, let us get to the, huh, why not? The next time Mizuku and Momo actually meet up, which is nowhere really fancy or anything. Mizuku wanted to talk to her and She's surprised at this, but uh, he's not going to try anything. He's not that kind of person. What she's seen. Okay, <clears throat> let's get down to business. What do you mean? How are we going to, you know, get rid of this whole engagement betrothal nonsense? What? Yeah. I mean, you you don't want to get married, do you? 
Well, I, I mean, one day, yeah. Yeah, you want to get married to someone you like. Not some strange dude that you only met a few times, right? Well, of course. Uh, who would want that thing? Exactly! So, if anything, won't you just try to stay out to your parents and whatnot and everything will be peachy dory? It's hunky dory. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm making up a new saying. So, you don't want to get married to me? I don't even know you. Why would I get married to someone I don't even know? Oh. Hmm. I... I understand. Good, good, good. And with that, uh, let's get... I believe that concludes business. As Momo, she goes home with her head hung low. I thought after seeing him again, he'd want to get together. Or does he not remember me? As yes. Now, my friends, this is a day of the USG. Mizuku. He's all excited to actually try some rescue training, especially considering how his quirk is. I mean, you can't really use fire to, to really rescue people, maybe take care of surveillance, but Ingo's version, yeah, that, that. Yeah, that, that can really help when it comes to saving peoples. As, yes, he sees Momo and he looks at his, sorry, with a thumbs up. Her, with a side expression, just returns a gesture. Zuku is not knowing why she seems so down the dumps, but her, she's like, why doesn't he remember me? Man, why are guys such jerks? What are you talking about, Momo? Oh shit, I got Kare. I forgot you I forgot you were here. I understand. I'm not that outstanding a character, am I? That's not what I meant. It's just your quirk. It makes you wait a minute. That's right, you're naked! No, I'm not. I got my gloves and boots. No, you. As Momo, she's just like. She feels the spring. She's like, wait a minute. Those things are heavy. Oh, uh. Thanks. As then Momo is continuously, uh. Um. Testing the buoyancy and bullshittery. As the guy is telling her, okay, please stop. Stop this. Pretty much, uh, hold on, just, I need to test something, please, stop. People, he's starting to hear the moaning, is, they, what the, wait, what the hell was that? Them seeing Momo pretty much assaulting the Gakure. Say, Momo, what are you doing? Say, huh? Oh. As yes, the guy is just breathing all heavy. He's like, please, enough of this. Oh. Oh, 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 God, I'm so sorry. But yeah, you should cover up. Boys don't like that. Zuku, okay, maybe she's into Hagakure and just worried about what her parents will think? Hmm. Okay. What? I support them 150 bajillion infinity percent. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> yes. They, I shall get them together if it's the last thing I do. But when it comes to the whole attack, Izuku, he is ready for it. Especially considering how versatile his quirk is. The only thing is, as Aoi does tell him, like, stay here with 13. 
it's only when the Nomu shows up that okay, no fuck what he said. We're, I'm going to save him. Cornery does teleport them away. The only thing is, is if he flies. He does end up carrying Froppy and Mineta. Mineta, they're trying to cup a field, but Izuku's made so nope, you ain't, you ain't touching anything else. Fucking perv. <laughs> Stop being such a prude, man. Stop being such a pervert, man. Ah. Fair point. Fair, very fair point. As yes, Izuku, he watches as the Nobu gets completely a blur, pretty much a blurring eraser head, and pretty much catching body after body, as everyone is trying their best to pretty much gang up on it. Well, Shiraki just wastes it and just loses. It. Are you serious? Just, just give up. You're, you're not gonna win. This guy was meant to kill All Might. Come on. But then he sees Momo get pimp smacked. And then something snaps. To the point where he moves everyone out of the way with a huge burst of fire. And creates a tornado. A turret of flames that engulfs the Nomu. Into a fiery inferno of spinning fiery death. And Sugar Rocky's starting to actually get hella worried. Because, yes, it meant to take punches and all that. It wasn't. When it comes to the whole burning, you know, didn't think about that, now did we? As then, Zuku, he's just turning up the heat, saying, No one hurts Mo. Mo, wait a minute. Why does that sound familiar? As he turns his head and looks at Momo, she's wearing her hair a bit different. Wait. You? As then he sees a towering, half-baked, cooked-up Nomu right above him as it... Plows him into the ground and continuously smashes him until he is unconscious, dissipating the fiery tornado. And Momo is freaking out. How so? She creates a fucking minigun almost instantly and unloads turrets of bullets into the Momo's arms, legs, body. Until she goes straight for the head, killing it. In under blind rage, she starts pointing it at, out towards villains and starts mowing them down like their grass. And she is a fucking lawnmower. Then she starts aiming at Sugar Rocky, which Kogiri in the nick of time creates a portal, pretty much saving him. <laughs> no joke. But he just brings the bullets straight back. To me. To Momo, in which she dodges and continues on the shooting, not realizing that she could obviously put all her other classmates at risk while yelling, No one hurts Izu. What? Everyone's like, Was this way you call him that? Uh, her being distracted, as then Toru shows up. Oh, what happened here? She sees a no move. She sees Izuku bloody and beaten. He is clinging to life, as she can sense. Then she looks at Shigaraki. Then she sees Momo pretty much trying to kill Shigaraki. He's like, what happened here? They didn't see Izuku with that thing. I killed it, but they're still alive. Yeah. You're not for long. Uh, well, who the hell are you supposed to As she turns into her full dragon mode. Everyone else looking at the majesty, which is a giant-ass green horned dragon. 
as she begins tearing through the scraps of villains that were left unscathed by Momo's assault. And yes, she pretty much one shots Kodagiri. She's about to step on Shigaraki until all for one, all for God, creates a portal and drags the two of them back. <laughs> 